Come thrifting with me. Last week, I only had 15 minutes to go through my favorite thrift store, and so today, I've set aside a little over an hour. Let's get to it. Lately, they've been doing something new where they have a 75% off table. It's been pretty picked over, but I was hopeful maybe it had been reloaded. And it had been. Right away, I saw the sugar and creamer container. They were originally $10 for the pair, so that means today they're only $2.50. I think one's missing a lid, but I have a project in mind for those. And that's a really great price. I was so excited about all of the jewelry, including the ones that are hanging on the rack I donated. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of them were clip-ons, but I did really like these and thought that they would look cute on my fridge gallery. So I got those for only 25 cents. As you guys know, I struggled so much with counted cross stitch, but this is only 13 cents. And so even if I mess it up, I think it's worth a try. It even has the hanger in there. I love trivia. This one was only 13 cents as well. And since it's for families, I couldn't pass it up. Moving on to the fall items. I liked these little acorns. They were 50 cents a piece, but I thought I would grab a couple for a dollar. I will save those to decorate for fall. I really liked this container. I felt like it had more of kind of a 70s vibe to it, even though I think it was a little newer. I loved the colors, but I didn't really think I had a use for it, so I put it back. I found some more acorns, and I ended up actually putting two of them back later on, but for now, I had them in the cart. I have a large basket for my front porch that my gourds don't completely fill, and so I decided to go ahead and grab a couple so I can fill that basket up. I really love the both Halloween and fall vibes of these coffee cups. They have very, you know, early 2000s vibe to them. And I really thought this pumpkin was cute too. The color is really pretty, but I already have so many pumpkins that I don't even know what to do with. I keep thinking about this little half moon tray. I just think it's so pretty and I don't know what I'll use it for, but I feel like I have to get it and I will figure it out later. I love the colors. This little bowl looked almost like milk glass. It was so heavy. I mean, it was shockingly heavy. And I definitely don't need another milk glass face, but I don't have one like this. And I loved the little scallop top. It'll be perfect for Easter, perfect for 4th of July, all the seasons. And for a dollar, I had to get it, right? Besides, it was early in the day. I was able to talk myself into all sorts of stuff. <laughs> this little goofy guy was cute too, but I have a lot like that. And here was another faux pumpkin, but for some reason that one was a dollar. So I put that one back. And I already have a ton of mini gourds, but what's a few more for $2? This way I can really decorate all of my trinket shelves and my daughter can borrow some too. After I collected all these small gourds, I probably could have gotten a bag for cheaper, but it's fine. It's a good cause, right? I love the rainbow colors on this little pitcher slash vase. B did a really good job and I really like it, but I don't know where I'd put it for now, so I put it back. I also just really love the classic look of that little pitcher. And again, more acorns, but I passed. This little tea towel was super cute. I loved the colors of it. I will save it for fall. And for a dollar, I think it's a pretty good deal. I'm definitely gonna use it in my kitchen. I headed to the vintage corner next. I love these cups, but when you wash them, they always collect humidity. I wanted to look at this vintage traveling case. I've been looking for a container of some sort to put my sister's birthday gifts in. This one was really neat, but just a little too beat up for what I'm looking for. I really wish I would have grabbed that vintage camera case when I saw it the first time. But when I came back, it was gone. I thought this little votive holder was cute. They had it in the glasses area, so maybe it is a drinking glass, but I think I'll use it for a small candle for Thanksgiving. It says, count your many blessings. I think it's super cute for 50 cents. I moved on into the kitchen area, and I just thought that this jar was really neat. It's very unique, and I haven't seen one like it. And then, are you kidding me? This Miro timer is exactly like the one I have at home, but it's copper. I love my silver one that I got for a dollar. I could not believe that this copper one was only a dollar. I was prepared to spend so much more than that. I was losing it. I was so excited about this. Like it's the purchase of the month. Still on a high from that, I moved on to the DVDs. The case almost looked like the car pack that I have. So it's already set up and ready to go for someone's vehicle. If they have a DVD player, that is. I thumbed through it just to be nosy, but I was not at all prepared to pay $20 for this. But if you're wanting to get a starter pack for your car, then yeah, it's a good one. I looked at a few other DVDs. I would love to get the 16 candles, but my kids are probably not quite old enough for the uncut version. And then I saw a Three Stooges DVD. Disorder in the Court is one of my favorite episodes. You're in the court, not in the woods, stars, and just fantastic. Absolutely love it. My kids will love watching that in the car. My sister had told me she loved the vintage address book that I had gotten not too long ago. And so when I saw this one, I had to get it for her. It's not as old, but it's still really neat. 
I'm currently reorganizing my desk area and a drop-off area for things I need to file is necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and get that tray and hopefully it works out. I love this staple. I would love to have it on my desk. It's definitely the vibe I'm going for. I just tend to clean off my desk area because I feel like it's very cluttery. So while I think it would be really cute, I just know myself and I think that it would feel like too much. So I put it back. Since I had been here last, someone had donated a whole bunch of Wilton recipe books or cake decorating books. Most of them were from the early 70s and I just loved the overall look of them. My original thought was that some of these would have worked great for my hot cocoa station last winter and so uh, I started to look for that purpose. These paperback ones were only 50 cents and then I found this one which was definitely older, a little bit more mid-century. This would have been perfect for Valentine's for my hot cocoa station so I'm getting that for a dollar. And this book also just is really really cute without its jacket so for a dollar I'm going to grab that as well. I'm a sucker for yellow. So I went through the rest of them. Like I said, they were only 50 cents. This one's just so pretty. I love the green spine. There were duplicates of that one. So I grabbed one of those and then told myself I was just going to pick a couple of the other ones. I loved the look of that spine as well. So I went ahead and decided to get that one. The text is still very mid-century. I passed on some of these late 70s, early 80s ones. Although this one definitely has more of a fall vibe. It just looked a little newer to me. And so I ended up landing on just getting that one I had originally picked up. It looked the oldest. And again, the red, I think, will look really cute around some of the red holidays. So maybe Christmas, but definitely Valentine's Day. And then I saw this potpourri recipe book, and I've been wanting to do a simmer pot for fall. It had some really cute recipes in there, so I grabbed it. I felt like this one would be pretty cute sitting with my rest of my cookbooks, but when I opened it, I realized that it is that Christmas 1998 one that confuses me. Is it old or is it from the 90s? I'm not sure. These little Pier 1 import dishes were super cute, but definitely newer. There were some that were unmarked as well. That one was a little more expensive. I am guessing it's because of the ladle. And Mary did such a good job on this little potato bowl. It reminds me of the set I found before. I debated that little lettuce or cabbage bowl because my sister has a salt and pepper shaker like that, but I passed. And again, I don't do blue and white, but those were so cute and a great price. Charlie and Lucy are still $6 each. I'm still holding out. Moving on to the candles, I saw this brass holder holding the little glass votive dish. I don't love the glass part of it, but I did love this brass lion piece. It was heavy, made in India. I suspected real brass. I'm not really into kind of like the African lion kind of look, but I really liked this piece. I was curious to see how a tulip would look in there or a different kind of glass container because I felt like I would be able to find something different. I loved it enough that for $2, I'm going to grab it. And look at this tulip that looks just like a tulip. How cute. It was very heavy duty and $3. These remind me of my grandma. I feel like they have a 70s vibe to them. They've definitely expanded their tulip collection and they are priced appropriately. They had so many neat styles, but I have a lot already. So I'm going to leave them all here for the next person. And then since I saw these wooden candlesticks, I had to just see how that one looked in there. I feel like that frilly one that reminds me of my grandma would go perfectly in that wood stand. And I was right. Look at how cute that is. But I will pass today. And what are the chances of me finding these again? I think someone called them gaskets. I don't know. It's a little rubber part that holds a tulip in a candlestick. A lot of times I'll find tulips in the store without their little rubber part. So there's some extras. I had just gotten some for the Salvation Army though. So I left those for someone else. And then I tried this other dish, just curious. And if you're wondering what a tulip is or how I use them, I do have a video in my Thrifting 101 playlist. So you can go check that out. This holder was iron. It was very heavy. It was only $2. And so I thought this might be really cute for my front porch and to put pumpkins on each of those little stands. Very cute. I loved this little lap tray. It had little legs that popped out to sit over your lap. The colors and the design of it are just awesome. I really wanted to get it, but it was $8 and it's just a little bit more than I wanted to spend. The tag also indicated that it was vintage, so I'm going to put it back in the vintage area. A while back, I had been looking for a vintage hamper, but someone said something about it being gross and now I can't get that out of my head. Maybe it is gross. I don't know. I continually look at these pillows. They have a weird texture, so I decided to open it to see what was going on. And basically, the cushion was starting to disintegrate. I'm sure it's because it's so old. 
I love the vintage vibe of them though. And so I am using girl measurement to see how wide it is so I can look on Amazon to see if they have a filler for them. But I left them in the meantime. I saw this little footstool and I really like the base of it. It's metal and it would be perfect for our screened porch. Of course, that top part, not so much. I studied it to see it had been reupholstered pretty recently and it was very well done. I would definitely replace this cloth, but for $15, I think I'm up for the challenge. I love the color of these earrings, but they were like a clip on and I just didn't think that they would stay on my ears. So I passed. But I do love a big gold earring. I've been looking at these several times and I just decided today is the day. A dollar added to this giant cart, that's fine. I love this $10 brass candlestick. I do think it's not moving because it's $10. The six ones flew quick and they weren't even as cool. This book was left in the sewing and crafting area. Someone made a decision, I guess, to pass, but it is a very cool book for decorating. I already have a lot of red books to decorate with, so I'm going to pass, but very cool. I have looked at this ribbon over and over again. I love the natural twist it has, and I thought about getting it for wrapping gifts, but I have a ton already, so I've always talked myself out of it. Today, I actually considered maybe I could put it on the tree. And then when I saw that it was only 25 cents, I had to laugh at myself. What have I been contemplating? Just put it in the cart. I've been working on a freehand stitchery project, and I needed some embroidery floss that was more of my skin tone. And so for 25 cents, I'm going to grab that one. I donated these boxes that came with like Melissa and Doug puzzles in them, but now that I'm looking at them, they kind of look like trinket shelves. That'd be a pretty good use for them. Thankfully, I just happened to look up and I saw this really neat picnic basket. I really like the two wicker colors of it, and I thought it might work for my sister's birthday present because not only would she have all the cute items inside, but then she could use it for decoration or honestly storage. I was very pleased with it only being $4, and so that was pretty much the deciding factor for me, and I decided to get it. I feel like if I decided to do ceramic work, this would be kind of what I would make. I really actually kind of dig it. They had a really big embroidery hoop as well, but um, the other one I've been looking at has been $10. So I was a little surprised to see that this one was eight. I had to pass. Someone had donated their perfume collection. I was really excited to see Oscar de la Renta, but not $12. The Versace one, though, was priced a lot better. It was only $5, and it kind of smelled like baby powder a little bit, and I decided to go ahead and get it for my sister, even if she just displayed it with the rest of her perfumes. I don't know what style this frame is, but this is what my mom had growing up, that color and burgundy. Then I came across this brand new canvas. It was completely unopened. Good price for what the original was. I thought it might be cute to set out at spring and Easter time with all the pinks, and so I went ahead and grabbed that as well. And my grandma told me not to buy any more pins or brooches for my magnet gallery, but man, are these not the cutest. The prices were a little higher, but they were so neat and so beautiful and would make just the best fridge gallery. So someone go get those, even though I, I agree they are a little high. Or wear them as brooches because they're gorgeous. The blues and the teals were hard for me not to get for my sister. I just don't know what she would use them for. Then they set out these pictures. Are these not just the cutest things ever? I wish I had a little boy's nursery that I could put them in. Oh my goodness. And before checking out, I checked out the trinkets area. They had this little pink bear for $1.50, not bad. And this tiny little teacup for 50 cents. So I had to grab them both. I also like the thimble, but I already have a lot of thimbles, so I passed. And while waiting in line, I saw these two white placemats. I thought that they would be perfect to line my picnic basket for my sister's gift. So three bags today, a picnic basket and the footstool. Oh my goodness. Kind of went off the rails a little bit. 58.58 was the total. I should be set for a while, but you know I'm going to return next week. Thanks for coming along, guys.